Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Pick 6. I'm your host, Mike Wobschel, inside TCO Studios at Winter Park. After a tough Vikings loss, but another tough game on the horizon. So let's get to work. Your questions begin right now. The first one from Steven. Not sweating the loss. Very uncharacteristic performance in what was ultimately a winnable game. Let's give a lot of credit to the Carolina Panthers. The Vikings went in there having defeated the Panthers the last two times they played them under Mike Zimmer, and the Panthers earned a hard-fought win. That's a physical team that's probably going to make the playoffs. The Vikings did have an uncharacteristic performance, though. How about those two long runs they gave up to Jonathan Stewart and Cam Newton? We haven't seen much of that this season. Three turnovers. They allowed six sacks, some drop passes, including some in the end zone. Very uncharacteristic performance. I expect the Vikings to bounce back this week against the Bengals. Our next question comes from Claudia. My concern is the slow start of the defense. Do I see a trend here? What can you comment on that? I don't think you see a trend. We had a slow start against the Rams. Gave up a touchdown on the first drive of the game, but gave up no points. After that, the Vikings gave up two long drives to the Panthers to start the game, but then they settled down a little bit, and it was a mistake late in the game on Cam Newton's long run that ultimately did us in. I don't think you see a trend here. The Vikings defense has been very solid all season, one of the best defenses in the NFL, especially at home, and that's where we play this week. Blake from New Jersey. Can you please update us on the offensive line injuries? I feel like the update on these guys are few and far between. Skull. Well, head coach Mike Zimmer will have the injury update, I'm sure, later today. So make sure you stay tuned to Vikings.com and watch that press conference. Or if you missed it, you can watch it in on-demand format as well. He is the authority on injuries, not me. But I love our depth along the offensive line, and I feel like the Vikings can win games down the stretch with the backups because the personnel department and the coaches have done such a good job of developing guys like Jeremiah Searles, Nick Easton, Danny Isadora, and Rashad Hill. So the Vikings will be okay along the line. Jake from Circle Pines with the next question. I hope Riley Reef comes back healthy soon, but can we trust Rashad Hill or a rested Mike Remmers to hold the spot while Riley recovers? Well, remember, Rashad Hill had started the last four games going into last week's game, and the Vikings won all of them. The Vikings also have versatility up front with Nick Easton, Joe Berger, and Pat Elfline all being able to play center. The Vikings are going to be just fine up front. The next question comes from Tony. Still confident about this Vikings team? I'm trying to find reasons to be, but they looked very average against Carolina. Remember, the Vikings are still 10-3. This is a team that won eight straight games. Average teams don't win eight straight games. The Vikings are going to be just fine. And give Carolina credit. That's a good Panthers team the Vikings lost to. Here's some good news. The Vikings are healthy on defense, knock on wood, and two of their next three games are at home. The Vikings don't lose at home very often, and I don't think they're going to lose there down the stretch. The last question comes from Ryan. Cincinnati, Green Bay, and Chicago all should be handled by the Vikings. What do we need for home field advantage throughout the playoffs? All the Vikings should worry about right now is winning those games. You can't take any opponents for granted. And the Bengals know that more than anyone. They just lost at home to the Bears. You can be sure the Vikings will not overlook any of these opponents, especially the Bengals, Mike Zimmer's former team. But if you're into scoreboard watching, the teams you're rooting against are the Eagles and the Panthers. That's it for this week's edition of the Pick 6. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with another edition, so please continue to submit your questions to the email address at the bottom of the screen. In the meantime, stay tuned to Vikings.com for awesome content coming your way.